Karen McBride, Executive Editor of the Westchester County Business Journal and the Fairfield County Business Journal. Thanks for tuning in today to Video Chat. Our guest today is Jim Fagan. Jim is Senior Managing Director and Head of Cushman and Wakefield's Fairfield and Westchester County offices. Jim, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Why don't you tell us a little bit about Cushman and Wakefield and, 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 and where you are in the county? Uh, we have offices in Stamford, Connecticut, as well as in Rybrook in Westchester County. Uh, but Cushman Wakefield is one of the largest commercial real estate companies in the world. And we have offices throughout the United States as well as the rest of the world. Great. Well, I think you'll be um, able then to tell us a little bit about some of the things that are going on in the commercial real estate market. The 20th anniversary of the stock market crash of October 19th, 1987. A lot of what's been on people's minds is are we or are we not headed into a recession? And certainly one of the uh, barometers for how uh, the market is doing is commercial real estate. Jim, so maybe you could tell us a little bit about some of the trends you're seeing in Fairfield County or Westchester County. Uh, we could talk about vacancy rates and, and some of the leases that are, are, are coming in. Sure. From a commercial real estate point of view, the commercial real estate market is very healthy. Uh, it's been basically under a constrained set of supply since the recession that we had in 1987. In other words, the stock market crash that you're talking about in 1987 stopped all new construction. So since that time, we've had very, very little construction relative to the size of the market. And so the, the real estate markets in Fairfield and Westchester County are in fact very tight because of, there hasn't been any new construction since that time. Mm -hmm. We're excited because there are a lot of new projects in the pipeline and we're hopeful that they will in fact go forward. But from the overall health of the commercial real estate market, tenant demand is strong, employment is strong, rents are rising, and, and the landlords are strong as well. Mm -hmm. And is this similar in Westchester County? Yes. The, the difference between the two counties, I would say that Fairfield County's employment is driven a little bit more, more by the financial companies. Mm -hmm. So you have UBS, RBS coming in, more hedge funds. Those companies have been growing a little bit faster than the average. So the Fairfield County marketplace has, in fact, gotten tighter, faster than Westchester County. One thing that continues to happen in Westchester, and it, if you were to personify it, it's very brave because the market, each time it starts to move forward, a big tenant moves out. You know, we've seen IBM put several big buildings back on the market over the years. Altria put several big buildings back on the market. But if you look at, for instance, 800 um, Westchester Avenue where that Altria moved out of, mm -hmm. is completely full today. And it's a beautiful building. Robert Weiss has also done 1133. And these plans are well underway, and hopefully we'll be able to announce a few big tenants going to that building as well. Uh, Jim is Senior Managing Director and Head of Cushman and Wakefield's Fairfield and Westchester County Region. Jim, thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me, Karen. Uh, for more on the commercial real estate market and all your local business news, check out the Westchester County Business Journal and the Fairfield County Business Journal. I'm Karen McBride, Executive Editor. Thanks for tuning in.